So my my overall, I, I think I can increase the Corlinar. I mean, I think it's Band-Aid kind of stuff. Ultimately, I'm concerned about just everything overall, right? You are on just the maxed out, not doses, but just the maxed out medications to try to, to treat this. And it makes me nervous because, you know. Name's Olivia. I was born with a rare genetic condition. My suffering does not define With every me. battle I face, I am made stronger through faith. I free. Yeah. Hi guys. So it is, um, what is today? I can't think. Oh. Hoy oh, es uh, domingo 2 de uh, mayo? Sí. De mayo de 2021. So, um, yeah. Sunday. Uh, May 2nd. Sorry guys, I'm like all over the place in my head because I am still not sleeping great. But, oh! There's some of my modeling photos. I forgot those are there. These are senior pictures, this one. Um, this one, that one, that one. That's my first horse, Cisco. But, um, anyways. <sighs> Kai! Let's go! Um, so, yeah. My little brother and I are about to go to Fresh Time, a whole food store, to pick up sushi and fruits. And, yeah. I'll meet you guys in the car. Anyways, as of right now, I'm waiting on my little brother to button up his shirt uh, so we can go. But, um, been in kind of a lot of pain lately because my knee is really messed up. And, um, I may have jinxed myself because the video where I was doing q and I was like, oh, my ankles haven't caused me problems in years. Yeah, my ankles having problems, my knees having problems, and I don't think I've ever told you guys, but the growth plate in my knee is still there, and it's not supposed to be, obviously, because I'm 25, and um, it's still there, and it's jagged, so, um, a while back, I was sent to a orthopedic surgeon to did a consult to see if I needed to get that removed, and um, I didn't end up going. So, um, yeah, my knee's been in a ton of pain, and it's not getting any better. Uh, and I just can't wait till my wheelchair gets here, and it's less than two weeks away from the day that I get it. But. <sighs> My little brother is pouting because he doesn't want to go, but too bad, so sad. Let me on this side. Okay, so we just got to fresh time and we're going to go pick out some sushi. I want sushi. Yeah, hold on. Okay, so we got this one, like this one, it's not this is oh, mine, this my favorite. That one? That one's your favorite? That has caviar on it. No, this. Oh, that one. Oh, that one's for Jack. We'll have to get him that one. No, I want that one. Okay, then we'll get him. He's going to hate that if I get him that one. Get what? This one? I'll get him this one, and I'll tell him just not to eat these ones. Why? Because he won't like that part. What is it? Okay, so I'm getting this is one. Dragon, is dragon fruit good? He got good? that one. Is dragon fruit good? And then I'm getting this one for my little brother, my other little brother. Uh, dragon fruit's okay. And then I might 
like it. Oh man, they don't have another one that I want. Are you getting the what? I guess I'll get this one too, and maybe. Are you getting the whole one? Um. Because. Look. I want. I'll have Jack give me those ones. So that should be enough. Okay. That's good. Oh, look at those cute little watermelons. Are these good? I can get these. Mangoes? Oh, yeah. I was going to get some of those. Do you just take bites out of them? <laughs> no, you got to peel them? the skins off. Mm -hmm. I want, I want. This one seems I want some good. Come here. You can just bite out of them. I want one of those things I can just bite out of. Straight away. With the skin. These are not ripe. Oh, okay, I'll just get one because there's only one ripe one. Come on. Do you want a pair? Look. What are these? I think those are Asian pears. Asian pears? Yep. They are Asian pears. What? Are these good? Yes. Do they taste like apples? I'm getting this pear. Do, do they taste like apples? For some reason, my camera is not wanting to focus. <laughs> do they taste like apples? Um, no, they taste juicier and sweeter than apples. This one has a hole in it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get them. Are the green ones like? Those aren't ripe yet. They're sour. You can still eat them, but they're a lot more sour and they're not as juicy. I want one like that. Can I get that one? Sure. I'll get a couple that sure aren't ripe yet, right? so I can have them later. Oops. I don't like sour. I know. That's why I'll give you that yellow one, because that one's ripe. Ooh. Um, I'll show you what drinks you can get. Not over here, though. Because that's too much with your, um, no, I don't think I'll get one of these. Really I know that's too much. Okay. Mm -hmm. no. Then I'm going to get no, no, I want one, of those watermelon containers. one of these and a big watermelon container. Can I get a watermelon? And a little one. Can I get a small water? But then I'll have to stop recording because the basket will be too heavy for him. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so we got our sushi and um, what'd you get? A uh, sushi and uh, two fruits. And uh, wait, two fruits? Oh yeah, you got watermelon and a pear. Um, yeah, so we got some watermelon pears. I got a mango. I'm not eating all of this tonight, obviously. Um, sushi and then sushi, sushi. Um, yeah, that's about it. I meant to get a drink, but I forgot completely. So, whatever. You always forget about everything. But um, I do always forget. But um. Yeah, so we just got everything, and my knee is hurting so bad. My whole leg's actually hurting, my hip and everything, but it's whatever. Now we're just going to go home. Hi, guys. So, I just got done with a doctor's appointment um, with my new cardioelectrophysiologist, and um, it went okay. It did not go as well as I hoped it would, but that's basically all of my appointments. They normally go how I expect them to, but not how I hope them to. 
because a lot of the doctors around where I live don't know how to take care of my conditions and they're very intimidated when they see my conditions on my chart. So, um, yeah. I'll show you guys the appointment uh, because I did record it, but um, you might see what I mean, especially if you experience this yourself, if you have Ehlers-Danlos or a complicated medical history. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll just have to insert the footage. Yeah. Hello. 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 Olivia? Yes. I'm Dr. Clark. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. That's good. All right. Okay is a good thing. What was the results for um, the monitor that I wore? Are you talking about from January 12? Um, that one? I believe so. Or do you have another one? Um, it was like a 30 day heart monitor. Okay. 33 symptomatic events, 14 device triggered. You had some extra beats from the top chamber, extra beats from the bottom chamber. You haven't been able to go over to uh, like Mayo or Cleveland Clinic or something for the dysautonomia stuff? No. That would be nice. That would be that's probably the most ideal. Mostly because they have this multidisciplinary kind of approach, you know, where they um, you see kind of everybody that would be involved from the GI system to the heart to uh, basically every component of your body. So that that would be very useful. I'm just looking at all the tracings. There's you had a couple of runs from the bottom chamber. All right. So my my overall, I, I think I can increase the coronar. I mean, I think it's band aid kind of stuff. Ultimately, I'm concerned about just everything overall, right? You are on just the maxed out, do not doses, but just the maxed out medications to try to to treat this. And it makes me nervous because, you know, when you start to get into needing fluids every other day uh, and the electrolyte changes um, and, and all that stuff, I mean, it's serious stuff that can get you into trouble real quick. And so, uh, obviously, sepsis is not a small thing to deal with and um, not something you want to be messing around with. So, I'm concerned about what, where you go from here. And, you know, I think the best thing would be seeing a clinic that deals with this every day. Uh, I do not deal with this every day. So um, I think that would be the best thing for you. If, if there's a way to, to get to either Cleveland Clinic, Mayo Clinic would be the closest in this region. Um, you know, you've probably done more research even than I have in this area, I would imagine, over the years dealing with this stuff. Do you have any questions for me? What are your thoughts? I really can't go to like the Mayo Clinic or Cleveland Clinic because my insurance doesn't cover it. Okay. So I don't know what else to do. I feel like there's got to be a way though. Um, you know, because a lot of those places are like endowed in a way that they don't have to worry as much about coverage and, and usually they have means. So I would look in and call them and just say, hey, my insurance doesn't cover this. You know, uh, do we have some sort of an option? And there's got to be something. Um, I already called the Cleveland Clinic. Yeah. Um, I was getting tossed around from hospital to hospital one time when I was inpatient. Okay. Uh, and I went from IU's hospital to uh, Methodist to back to IU and then sent out to St. Vincent. And um, that's when they were like, okay, we really don't know what to do for you either. So they tried to get me into the Cleveland Clinic inpatient and that even failed um, and then I got back home after all this and really all these doctors said there was nothing they could do and then my primary care doctor also said the same thing and then I got sent or one doctor said he could get me into the Cleveland Clinic and he said that he was able to do it for another girl. And he gave up on me because he's the one that sent me, um, he sent my orders over to interventional radiology. Okay. And um, then my bowels perforated and he basically wanted nothing to do with me after that. And um, 
then I had my prior uh, cardiologist say that he'd get me into the Cleveland Clinic or Mayo Clinic and he couldn't. And then I had another doctor say he could get me into Vanderbilt and then he couldn't. So. Wow. He's been through a lot. <laughs> yeah. And I've called Cleveland Clinic as well on yeah. my own and they basically said if your insurance doesn't cover it, then you have to just pay out of pocket. Hey, yeah, that stinks. Um, okay. Okay, so I'm in a new environment. I came in from my car. But anyways, that's what happened at my appointment today. Um, yeah. I hate recording appointments and putting them on here because it takes forever to edit those, um, those recordings because I can't tell where everything's at in the video or in the recording because there's no image with it and um, I don't know how I would video record my appointment most of the time um, doctors won't allow that and um, I live in a one party state which means that only one person needs to consent for a recording to take place in a conversation but video consent works a little bit differently and most doctors won't allow that but anyways um yeah and this recording from whatever you just heard is like 40 minutes long so I have to try and cut it down to a very very small like key points in the video or in the recording why do I keep calling it a video but anyways yeah so um that's the appointment that's what happened um wasn't too exciting or anything like that but um yeah I went because I have to like I just even if I know that these appointments aren't gonna go how I hope they will I still have to go to them that being said <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven appointments I have to reschedule and I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off but um, I need to reschedule them because I miss them. A lot of them were scheduled without me consenting to the time and day and um, they schedule my appointments for me so I have to call them and reschedule all of those and then um, I have to call my geneticist to try and get um, my CT results from my vascular, like from the vascular surgeon that took the CT and um, send them to my primary doctor because I have to go see a new vascular surgeon and I don't know if the referral from my um, geneticist is still good so I either have to call him or my primary care provider and get a new referral sent out or go and schedule with the old referral if it's still good but yeah that's what's going on and um, it's finals and I have uh, obviously only two finals to take because I'm only in two classes but um, I have a final project that I just did and I have a quiz still and I have one other final project and then um, the actual finals so not fun not fun at all and then I'm getting hardwood floors in my room this week so that's going to be a disaster because um finals and I have to get my mattress and everything out of here, which, like, okay, so my bed is a queen size. It is not going to fit out the door. Like, it had to be brought in here in pieces. So, um, like, my parents said that I don't have to take everything out of my room. I just have to um, take whatever I want out. Or like whatever I need to so like my mattress and my bed sheets and anything that I sleep with 
and most likely my clothes and my sugar glider and um yeah because this whole room is going to be filled with like extreme dust oh man i have to get all my makeup too um it's going to be filled with extreme dust and debris from them tearing up the carpet so yeah i'm so stressed but that's how everything's going and i thought i would just update you guys um, I have a couple of other appointments coming up and like I said seven that I have to reschedule so I'll take you guys along with me on those as well hi guys it is um, Wednesday May 12th but it's technically Thursday May 13th um, but I just want to give a super quick update. I'm exhausted. It's the middle of the night. But I have A's in both my classes. And I'm done with my assignments for biology. So I'm going to finish the semester with a 97 in biology. And then I just have my Spanish final to take. And as of right now, my grade is at a 90. So that's going well. And, um yeah i think that's about it for updates but tomorrow i am getting in my wheelchair and i'm so excited they're coming to deliver it i'm like so excited and so nervous for tomorrow because i have my wheelchair coming and then i have um my final so i i'm going to end the vlog here i will do a video about my wheelchair whenever it arrives um i don't know how long that's going to take I'm so sorry I have not uploaded very much. The, these vlogs are like very spaced out. It's been a while since the last time I actually vlogged. But um, I'm getting it to you now so I don't know. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to subscribe if you are not subscribed and you enjoy my videos or you watch them regularly. And hit that bell notification sign to receive notifications when I upload new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all. Bye!